Katie here. We've got our HIIT workout coming up today. Um, a little bit more strength than cardio. We um, Everything is Tabata today. So we are doing 20 on, 10 off for a lower body portion. Um, we'll do 20 on, 10 off for an upper body. We'll do the same thing for cardio. And then we'll do a little bit of core, which I have my sister here today with me. So she will be demonstrating and doing that core with you guys. Hey there. Hi, guys. Um, so remember, I don't play music out loud for copyright issues, so um, make sure you have some good music in the background. Um, I usually recommend Rock My Run. Unfortunately, they are no longer doing free subscription anymore, so um, just whatever playlist that you want sounds great. Um, like I said, not super intense today until the end. We'll be doing mostly strength and then cardio at the end. Um, you really just need some weights, whatever weights you have. Um, for the lower body, the heavier you've got, the better. For the upper body, we can go a little bit more medium to low. And like I said, whatever you have will work. Um, just because we're doing shorter work timing segments, um, the heavier you have, the better. Um, but anything will work, so all right. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. Let me plug my music into my ear. And you might want your water over by you so that you can drink it when you need it. There you go. All right, I somehow convinced my sister to come do this with me today, so. <laughs> all right, let's make sure you guys are all set up. All right, we are gonna get our warm up going. Don't forget to start, get my headphones in my ear. Don't forget to start whatever um, device you use for tracking your workouts. All right, so start your workout. You got your workout started? Yep. Cool. All right, start my music in a minute. Sing it well. All right, so let's grab our knees, pull up to our chest. Yeah, you can face this way. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. I know my range of motion's a little bit off these days. Keep it going. I'm just putting something on for me to listen to in the background. Make sure you guys take everything at your own pace. If it's too easy, take it up. If it's too hard, take it down. We're going to grab behind. Keep that knee pointing down. This is your workout, your time. Push yourself how you can. And remember, I have to watch my heart rate. And also jumping sometimes is a little difficult for me these days. So you will see me take it down when needed. All right, let's take to a couple squats. Weight to the heels, knees behind the toes. Chest stays up. Y'all keep going. It's a little bit crooked, so I just want to straighten y'all out. Hey, okay, Lisa. We're going to get some glutes in over here. Grab and pull up. Grab ankle and knee. I'm going to shut that just so we're not distracted by those upstairs. Ugh. Let me know if you guys are doing the workout with me today. Shoot me a thumbs up or whatever. And I will try to post this later for those of you guys who aren't able to actually do it live. Keep it going. Good. So remember, you want to grab ankle and knee. That way you don't put any torque on your knee. All right. Let's do side to side. So remember, weights in the heels. Lunges, shifting those hips. If you want to add a little bit of arms, get a little more movement here. Good, make sure that weight stays back on your heels. Sometimes I even pull my toe up, literally, visually, if you can see it. Good, let's take it back to squats, regular squats. We're gonna do some hurdle walks in just a second. Remember, just pretending you've got invisible hurdles. Getting those legs up and over. So pick a leg, it doesn't matter which one. Up and over. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Just checking in with y'all. Hey Sue, you doing the workout with me? Awesome. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Whoop, if you need to hold on to something for balance, go for it. If you're just joining in, remember you just need whatever weights you have, the heavier the better, but whatever assortment you've got will work. And if it's makeshift weights, cans, milk gallon jugs, all that will work. All right, what's next? Totally lost it. Let's go ahead and start adding some cardio. So let's get some high knees, nothing crazy. I do want you to pick those knees up tabletop, but we're not trying to go super hard. We're just getting that heart rate going. Y'all can lift them up higher than me. Watch 
watching my sister do it right now. <laughs> She'll be in the video a little bit, don't worry. All right, let's do a couple little squat, easy little squat jumps. We're not going super intense. All right, let's take it to butt kickers. So I'm gonna turn to the side, literally kicking yourself in the seat, swinging those arms up and down. Whew, my hip bone's not staying hooked in today. Good, all right, we're gonna do a little side to side, so just make sure you have a little bit of room, and we're gonna just shuffle a couple to one side, a couple to the other. Just make sure there's no cords or mats for you to trip on as my sister shuffles over a power cord and I'm shuffling over a mat. Do as I say, not as I do, right? Just kidding. Get those arms pumping front to back. Good, we are almost done with this warm up and we'll be getting to the workout. Just a minute. Good, let's get some hamstrings. So go ahead, take a second. I want you to kick one foot forward. Make sure it stays straight. We're not crossing it, but your arm is gonna windmill across. Try not to let that foot cross diagonally. Keep those hips forward. Good, we are almost done. We're almost five minutes in this warm up, which is about all we need. If you're not feeling super warmed up, Keep doing some of these exercises while I'm explaining what we got. Good work. If you need a quick sip of water, grab it. All right, so here's what we got. Four exercises, lower body. Like I said earlier, everything is Tabata today, so that means 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna go for this one four rounds because we have four exercises. All right, so what we've got, and I'm gonna let Mira come and grab weights if she wants to put all our weights out. Let me to tell you what we got first. Um, we've got a weighted sumo squat. So ideally something heavy, a big can, a heavy milk jug, anything will work. Wide feet, toes out, holding that weight by your hips, down and up. Make sure those knees do not track in front of the toes. Okay, you want them to stay just above those ankles as best you can. All right, sumo squat, you can always decrease that weight or drop it all together, okay? Then we've got a curtsy squat. So you can always hold a weight at your chest if you want to. You're going to step behind and squat down. So your knees are kind of in a pocket together. Okay, what you don't wanna do is bend one and keep the other straight. All right, so it's like a curtsy, like if you're a little princess, if you're a boy, just don't, you don't have to do your princess skirt, but just do a little curtsy right there, okay? Then we have deadlifts. So this is, I do want you to try to pick as heavy as you can, but again, if you've never done deadlifts or it's been a long time, you really don't need anything heavy, all right? So weight to your heels, these are slightly bent, feet are right under those hips, shoulder blades pinch back, leaning forward, pushing your hips backwards, keeping your back flat, standing all the way up, squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings. All right, make sure you don't just stand right here. You gotta get those hips to neutral and really get that contraction back here, okay? All right, if you don't have heavy enough weights to really feel it, you can always do single leg, um, switch halfway through. Then we have pendulums, which we will be using the mat, so we're all this where we can both get on it um, when we need to. So, of course, I put my weights right in the way, didn't I? Okay, pendulums, on your knees. We've done these before, I think a couple weeks ago. Um, if you have knee problems, regular squats are fine. All right, weights uh, right below those hips, not any wider. I like to put one arm in front, one arm behind. That way it helps me to know if I'm moving my core or not, because the goal is not to. The goal is core work here, nice and solid, and you're gonna lean back to where you can't come back anymore. You can use the mat, and then back up, okay? Some of y'all will be able to go pretty far. Some of y'all may only be a couple inches. You're gonna feel the burn in those quads. The goal is not to sit and not to lean, okay? Nice, tight, straight line, <laughs> back up. All right, so those are our four exercises. 20 on, 10 off. Grab water if you need it. It's hot down here today. Yeah. Do you know what weights you want, Mira? 25. Go ahead and grab. Go ahead and grab. Do you know what you want for your deadlifts? Uh, 20s 
if you're not using it. I'll share with you. I'll share. All right, so I'm gonna grab these for my deadlifts and I will share these 20s with you. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Where did my timer go? All right, 20 on 10 off. We're starting with those sumo squats. Weight it if you've got it. Grab your weights, here we go, in three, two, one. Wide feet, toes out. Now remember, 20 seconds is not very long. So we wanna go as heavy as we can. And even though I don't encourage speeding through these, you do wanna get as many reps as you can without going too quickly. Good work. All right, curtsy squat. If you wanna hold a weight, right up at that chest is a good place. We have 10 seconds of rest. Here we go, three, two, one. Step behind. The goal is to get down low. Protect those knees. Don't go so low that it hurts the knee. You'll be surprised at how, how high your heart rate will get even with just doing this strength stuff for 20 seconds at a time. Woo! Good, all right, take 10 seconds. You've got deadlifts. You said you wanted 20s. All right, two, one, hinge at those hips. Knees stay slightly bent. You wanna lock them in that bent position, not lock straight, but you also don't wanna turn it into a squat. Hinging at the hips, feel this in the glutes and the hamstrings on the back side of the body. It's only 20 seconds. All right, we got pendulums, hop down to the ground. We'll turn this diagonal so we both have some space on the mat. I might end up doing squat times. All right, lean and back up. Do not cave that core at all. Should feel it right in the quads. You don't have any issues, do you? Yeah, I do. Soccer. This knee is not good. Keep it up. All right, we got back to those sumo squats. Grab your weight. Only 10 seconds of rest. Come on, here we go. Two, one. Let's go. We got four rounds of this. Yeah. Weights in the heels always in any kind of squat that you do. Any version. Good. Drop that weight. You've got curtsy. Curtsy squats. I'm trying to keep my weights out of the picture for y'all. All right, two, one, let's go. Remember, if you want to wait, I got enough of a weight right here. I got 30 plus pounds. Scale keeps going up. Only time in my life I've been comfortable with that. <laughs> Good, deadlifts, grab your weights. And like I said, you can do these without weights. Just keep them slow and controlled. Two, one, let's go. Especially if you've never done them before, you will still feel them just in that stand and that contraction on the way up. Weights in those heels. Good, Mira. Good, pendulums on the ground, on your knees. Just check it in with y'all. And if you have any issues, squats are just fine. Just keep your weight back in your heels. If you don't have any issues, this is great. Because we just did hamstrings, and now we're working quads, so we're balancing both sides. All right, this is the end of round two. We're going back to those sumo squats. Grab your weight. Two more rounds, then we get a little breather, then we got upper body. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Now this workout will probably run a little bit shorter than most of my workouts, just the structure of how we've got it, but doesn't mean it's any less of a workout. <sighs> yeah, feel that burn. You feeling it, Mira? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got curtsy lunges. I'm gonna at least pick up a small weight for this one. Add a little bit. Ooh, Mira's picking up the 20s. All right, Curtsy, you got this. Whew. 
Keep it up, you guys. Our legs are gonna be feeling it. Okay, we've got RDLs. Grab that weight. Whew. Quick transition. That's the hard part of this is the transition. We don't have a lot of rest time. Normally when you do strength work, there's a little more rest. That is the challenge today. Oh, I already feel my heart pumping. My daughter says, I feel my, a thump in my chest. I'm like, that's good, your heart's beating. <laughs> All right, we got pendulums on your knees or squats if those hurt your knees. Another thing you can do too, if this hurts your ankles at all, because you do want your toes down, you want pointed toes, you can stick a towel underneath your ankles. That'll give your ankles a little more support. Remember, don't cave that core. Everything stays nice and tight. This is as much core work as it is quad work. We're almost there, it's round three. We got one more round. Grab your weights for sumos. Whoo! Here we go, last round for lower body. Oh, keep going, keep going. Let me reset the timer. We got a couple extra seconds on this one. There we go. I didn't have it set for enough rounds. I think we'll get about 25 seconds on this one. I think we can handle it, right? Right, Mira? Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, we need another fan. There's actually one in that room behind you. All right, curtsy lunges. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's been a while since Mira's joined me for a workout. I've been working out. <laughs> you have been working out. Woo, curtsy lunges or curtsy squats, whichever one you want to call them. Kind of a lunge and a squat. Ooh, I feel this in my hips a lot today. All right, deadlifts. Almost done with lower body. Come on, two more exercises. All right, hinge forward and stand. Ay, ay, ay. My glutes and my hammies are feeling it. 20 seconds doesn't sound like a long time. All right, we got pendulums. Last one right here, then we get a little breather. Here we go. Come on. If you want to, you can hold a weight up at your chin. Just make sure this isn't bending it all first before you do that. Like I said, it might be an inch that you move until you feel that and you can't come back anymore. It might be further. Everybody's a little bit different on their range of motion here. And breathe. Great job. Take a little breather. Grab a sip of water. Mira, if you wanted to grab that fan behind you, you can probably just put it on the ground and turn it around and press on. Woo. All right, checking in with y'all. Let's see. Woo. All right, so here's what we got. So you will need probably lower weights if you have them for your upper body. We actually have six exercises. All right, just looking over and make sure we know what we got. So. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna demonstrate with lighter weights just to make sure that you guys know what's going on. So we've got six exercises, so I'll have to adjust my timer. Just a second. We've got overhead tricep press. Now when you do an overhead tricep press, um, if you have weights, I try to grab under the lip kind of how you would if you're holding a wine glass above your head, because we all do that so often. Elbows stay in towards your ears, bend and press up. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> got that pain going. All right, make sure you are not arching that back as I'm doing right now. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze that core, keep everything in line, okay? So overhead tricep press, then we have shoulder rows. So you're gonna grab those weights. My range of motion is a little weird because I have this bubble in front of me. You're gonna pull your weights up to your shoulders and slowly back down. The goal is not to race through. I know earlier, what I was saying is, yes, you wanna get as many reps as you can, but you don't wanna race through. You wanna resist on the way down towards gravity. All right, so that's shoulder rows. Then you have single arm rows. Um, if you have any back issues and you need a little more stability, 
You can use a stair to brace yourself, okay? Um, I don't know if y'all can see that, or you can get in that lunge position. I like to put my elbow on my knee. It's a little bit more comfortable. I do it sideways. Um, you can do it sideways or forward. All right, pulling up, controlling down. Now, totally up to you if you wanna keep it in a low row position with that elbow close to your body, or a high row position. Same muscle group, it just works differently in your back. If your elbow's out, it's gonna work more horizontally. If the elbow's in, it's gonna work more vertically, okay? All right, we'll do both sides on that. Then we have L's. Now with L's, you do not want anything heavy. In fact, I would not go higher than a five, okay? So I'll show you with these threes. And you can do these completely weightless as well. Hands in front of your hips, pulling up, flip, so you're like a, a field goal, back, down. All right, you wanna get that range of motion here, not here. All the way straight, bend, flip, back, down. Those are our L's. And then we have push-ups. So we'll turn this diagonal if you want to use that for your knees at all. All right. Um, ideally in a push-up, you want to be in that full plank position. Hips are low, not so low. You're a hammock. You can always take it to your knees, which I will be doing because I'm having a hard time with push-ups these days. And honestly, sometimes I even have to take it here to um, all fours to do that push-up. All right. Just make sure you're not reaching with your head. Okay, you're not caving that core. Everything's in a straight line. I would rather you reduce down to an easier option than do it incorrectly, okay? You've gotta protect that body. You will get more out of it if you do it properly than if you do it at the highest intensity and do it wrong, okay? So everything is 20 seconds. Let me adjust, so we have six, I need your math friend. Six exercises times three, that's 18, right? Yep. Perfect, I used to be a math major. Quit that when I first started college. All right, whatever you need, grab them. Yep, and we'll just scoot this into our way when we need it. All right, what should I use? Okay, 20 on 10 off, we're starting with the overhead tricep press. It's only 20 seconds, so you wanna go as heavy as you can. You can always drop down in the next round. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Keep that core tight, make sure those hips are under, you're squeezing your glutes. When you squeeze those glutes, you go from here, to here and you support that back. It's forcing you to squeeze your abs as well. Good, we've got shoulder rows. You want 12s? What are, no. You want 15s, all right, it's only 20 seconds. You can do more than you think and we're only doing three rounds of this one because we have six exercises. And down. Remember, control down. Yes, we want to get a good amount of reps in, but not so fast that we're losing the work. Resist gravity. All right, we've got single arm rows. Pick a side. I don't care which side is first, as long as we do both sides. You can get in that lunge, or if you have something stable to brace on, you can do that. Control. Make sure as you pull, you're not twisting the body. You wanna keep that body nice and tight. You are isolating the movement to that upper back and shoulder area. All right, you've got 10 seconds to switch it over. <laughs> oh, it's fine, we'll clean them off. My sister's a sweater. Yeah. I'm not much of a sweater. It's nice, but I don't ever feel like I worked hard enough. I feel like I never was worked too <laughs> After this, we're grabbing little baby weights and doing those L's. All right, grab those baby weights. I'm gonna leave, leave those for you, Mira. If you want heavier weights next time, you can have them. All right, in front, we're gonna do these together. Ready? In, up, flip, back, down, all the way. Get that uh, full range of motion in the shoulder. You want those arms straight, not locked, but straight at the bottom right in front of those hips. Ooh, is that burning already? Yeah. Even with bitty bait, bitty, bitty weights, you do not eat anything heavy. All right, we have push-ups on the ground as quick as you can. If you want to turn around, you can put your knees on it if you need to. Or you can just do regular push-ups. Yeah. Here we go. Come on, it's only 20 seconds. If you are not necessarily trying to touch the ground, 
Do not reach your head to the ground. You've got to look kind of at a diagonal, almost just above where your hands are. Keep that spine nice and loose, but also tight. I don't know if that makes sense. In place, in line. All right, back up. Overhead tricep press. You want those shoulders loose. That's what I was trying to say there. You don't want them shrugged up and tight. Tricep, come on. Second round. Two rounds left. Got that shoulder row. You good with 15s? Yep. Here we go. Two, one. I'm right on the timer. Woo, you're gonna get in trouble with that water on that pool table. I know. <laughs> I had it off the ground at first and then I went to move the fan. Oh. Oh yeah, it's burning. All right, we got single arm rows. There you go. In position, two, one. Staying strong, you guys, come on. Switch, you've got 10 seconds, take the rest time. That's the point, it's not a long rest, but you do wanna take that rest. Keep your shoulders and hips as square as possible. It is difficult for me right now to do that as effectively as I normally do. So just keep that in mind. You want them here, not here. We've got L's after this, so you'll grab baby weights. Do you want fives or are you good with what you got? I'm good. All right, grab your baby weights or no weights. You can do these without any weight at all and you will still feel them. Two, one. I've tried them with heavier than five before. It's not a good idea, unless you're a super muscle man. Keep that core tight as you pull up. Don't let it rock you. Squeeze that core. And everything you do, you should be squeezing your core. Push-ups. All right, 20 seconds. Two, one, let's go. We've only got one more round after this, guys. Only one. There you go, Mira. That works. Ah, come on. All right, one more round. Stand up, overhead press. If you can lift something heavier, do it. I'm stealing this. For the last one, let's go, 20 seconds. Control that breathing. We're not in cardio now. Your heart rate still should be up. Not as high as when we do cardio in a few minutes. Ooh, I know, I'm feeling it. Man, I wish I hadn't picked these 15s up, but I did. I'm gonna keep going. All right, we got shoulder rows. Last round, come on. Two, one. Oh, I am so glad you turned that fan on. Me too. Pulling from all the way over there. Well, that's part Big of breeze. Place. No, it's a big breeze. You can see it. We got rows after this, single arm rows. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Keep that spine in line. You don't want to be dropping down looking at your toes. You don't want to be looking up straight at the wall in front of you. Kind of at a diagonal. Keep that spine in line. All right, you got 10 seconds to switch it over. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Oh, 
After this, we got L's. No weights or baby weights. All right, set it down. Come on, two more exercises, then we get a little breather. Up, flip, back, down. Rotation in the shoulders, that's what we're working here. Those are itty bitty muscles. You do not need a lot of weight for this one. All right, we got push-ups, then we get a breather. Two, one, let's go. Come on, keep that spine in line, keep that core straight. I know I'm not doing a good example right now um, for good reason, but try your best straight line. Oh, my belly actually <laughs> hits the floor before I can get far enough. All right, take that breather. Woo, feeling good. All right, so take a second. You do not need any weights for the rest of the workout. So, if you want to move whatever you've got out of the way, that would be a good idea. Stop beeping. You want to help me move these? Just out of the way. Just wherever. All right. And we won't need this mat. I'm going to move it. won't need it for a little bit. Okay. So... And I am going to get out. Actually, instead of getting that out, I'm just going to use the stairs. So, what we've got, I'm going to turn and angle this a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better. There's my stairs. So, this is our cardio portion. After cardio, we'll take a few minutes to bring the heart rate down, and then I'll have my sister do the core for you. Um, so, we've got burpees. Let's see if I can do one on the ground for you. Hands to the ground. It's been a while. Feet out, you wanna to get to your heels. All right, you know my range of motion isn't good, but I can still get to my heels. You can get out wide, that's fine. What I don't want is here, that's gonna eventually hurt your knees. Stand and jump. Now, if you're like me and you need an option or you have any issue with your uh, hips, uh, range of motion, use a stair, use a really stable chair, okay, or you can use a wall. Same motion, just on the wall, okay? You can also take the jump out and just do a reach up, okay? So we have burpees, and we have knee crunches. Once again, my range of motion, elbow to knee. You wanna bring them together right in front of that belly button. All right, try to touch them if you can, but you want that cross, that oblique, wide, wide. Okay, that's gonna get you that rotation. Getting that heart rate up fast and moving as quick as you can. Sometimes people even turn it into a jump, okay? Then we have frog jumps. So. It's just a deep squat. You do not have to touch the ground. In fact, you will not ever probably see me touch the ground with these. You've got to keep your chest up. And it's just a squat jump, but you are moving those arms up and down. If you need to take the jump out, that is fine, especially as we go through more rounds. All right, and then we're going to finish with high knees. All right, picking them up tabletop as much as you can. And yes, I do want the speed, not like in the warm-up. I want speed on that, so really high intensity. Now, the goal on typical Tabata, which is normally cardio training, is 20 as high intensity as you can, 10 seconds of complete rest. When I say complete rest, I don't mean standing completely still. I mean, nice and easy step, touch, march in place, whatever you got, okay? We are gonna aim for four rounds. Whoo! So, that should take us eight minutes if I did my math right. Eight minutes of work, we'll cool it down, do a little bit of core stretch, be done for the day, all right? So we are starting with burpees. Do you need an incline? You're good? All right, it's only 20 seconds, so we're cranking out as many as we can. All right, team, let's get to it. In three, two, one. Burpees, come on. If you're in a door frame, try not to hit your head. Hopefully you can't jump that high. You got knee crunches next. Woo! I have no idea where they are up there. Maybe they're on a walk. We already went on a walk this morning. There you go, Mary. You get that rhythm. Am I 
remember, my range of motion is gone. You gotta try to touch that elbow and knee in front of that belly button. And moving as fast as you can. Wide with those arms and legs. Breathe, frog jumps. Ooh. Yeah, we're feeling this. Here we go, three, two, one, come on. We're gonna need a steam mop down here and there. Huh? We're gonna need a mop down here. I know. <laughs> Should've brought a towel. <laughs> I mean, I have towels. Come on, almost there, a couple seconds. Breathe, high knees is next. Oh, almost no. done with one round. Oh, at least you don't have like eight layers around your stomach right now. Two, one, let's go. Come on, pick them up. Get those arms pumping. If you have trouble with the impact, you can just tap. All right? That works too. It kind of looks like I'm power walking. Come on. All right, Brady, that was round one. We got three more to go. Take it as hard as you can. If you need to take it down a notch, that's fine. Goal is to go as hard as you can. Burpees, let's go. Come on, 20 seconds.
those arms pump in. All right, last round, last set of burpees. Come on, you've got this. Two minutes of work left. It's not even a full two minutes. Let's go. Two, one, burpee. Finish strong. Knee crunches, last set of knee crunches. Here we go. Two, one. Come on. We're pushing, staying, staying in it. Don't give up. We're almost there. Breathe, we got frog jumps. We got frog jumps. Two more exercises. It's 40 seconds total of effort. Two, one, come on. Give it all you got. Don't push so hard that you faint or pass out, but whatever you can. Keep it going, keep it going. Shut my door. <laughs> All right, breathe, you got 10 seconds, last one, high knees. Then we'll take it down a little bit. We'll even do a little bit of a actual cool down before we hit the ground. Two, one, come on. Get those arms moving, even if those legs can't get up high. I want those arms pumping. Like if you're like me, you can only get them this high. My sister's doing good over here, getting the tabletop. These feel so awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Breathe. Okay. Grab a sip of water. Uh oh, I hear little feet. I hear pitter patter. Okay. We are gonna do just a little bit, not as good choreographed, but just easy cool down before we hit the ground. All right. So let's just step touch. For a minute. This is the time in class when I would normally have you put your equipment away to cool down, but you're at your house and I don't know what you have or if you even need to put it away. We will definitely need to put ours away. Our weights are just spread out in my, my husband's pool room, which is where I work out. <laughs> All right, let's just do easy knee ups. If you wanna keep those arms moving easy, you can. Again, we're just trying to bring that heart rate down right now, and then we're gonna hit the floor. But we, I mean you and my sister, <laughs> and do some core. It's gonna be Tabata as well, so 20 on 10 off. We've got four exercises, three rounds. So she will demonstrate it for you as best she can with my, we practiced before. One of them is confusing. Yeah, sure, one of them's confusing. If you don't have a demo in front of you. <laughs> I know that's my job, but I can't do it right now. All right, if your heart rate is down, you can hit the floor, but I want you to wait until we've explained everything. So Mira, if you wanna grab that mat, bring it up here, maybe try not to slide it over your sweaty spot so it's not on the back side. And let's do it lay it sideways so that you get a better view. All right, let me check and see. Y'all can see, right? Perfect, okay. All right, so Mira is gonna demonstrate this for us. So you're gonna have to hop down. First one, I'm gonna just grab my notes here. First one is a straight leg sit up. So the goal here is to be straight on the ground. You wanna squeeze your lower body. So squeeze those legs together, point your toes. It's gonna help you control. Hands are gonna to reach to the ceiling the whole time and you're just gonna sit all the way up. All right, so towards the ceiling the whole time. Yep, yep, perfect. So that was great, so all the way to the ceiling. If you have lower back issues, bend your knees, plant your feet on the ground, just flat feet on the ground, okay? Or if it starts to get too hard. You can also hold a weight with this in your hands, but just make sure that you aren't using that weight to launch yourself up. That's why I want you to reach to the ceiling the whole time so you're not using momentum from those arms, okay? So you have straight legs sit up, so you have alternating crunches. So laying down on the ground, feet planted flat on the ground, 
and you're gonna come up, opposite elbow to knee, and then back down. Up, opposite elbow to knee, and back, <laughs> and back down. So let me demonstrate this standing as best I can. So remember, feet are planted flat, you're gonna come up, opposite elbow to knee, back to the ground. So you're getting that active crunch up and down every single rep, but you've got that rotation of its knee. Is that better? All right, sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. Then you have a plank. It's only gonna be 20 seconds, flip over. Ideally, you wanna be on your elbows. All right, nice flat position. Mira's doing a great job right here. She's not dipping too low and her hips aren't up high. You can always take it up on the hands or you can take it down to the knees, okay, for options. And then you have sea turtles. It's very similar to a Superman. So Superman is when your arms are out, up and your legs are straight, arms and legs are straight, you're just lifting up and down, right? Sea turtles, you're gonna start in that same position on the ground flat, and as you lift up, you're gonna pull your elbows down towards your hips. So lift up and down, yes. Yeah, so you're working the back a little bit more actively than you would in a Superman. Mirror, that's perfect. So at the same time, your legs are coming out just a little bit too. So it's a little bit coordination, you're coming out and down every time, okay? All right, 20 on, 10 off. Mira's gonna do these with you. Let's see if I can get you a better angle. There you go. Here, let's turn this just a little bit. I will sit here and coach you through it. How about that? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's hit the floor. Straight leg sit-ups, 20 seconds. Let me change the amount. We're only, ooh, we're only doing three rounds. All right. Oh, baby boy is kicking in there. All right, 20 seconds, straight leg sit-ups in three, two, one. Let's go. Straight leg sit-ups, beautiful mirror. Nice and controlled on the way down. You wanna think quickly up, control down, resist gravity. You got less than 10 seconds on these and you're gonna get a rest. And breathe, good. You got 10 seconds, you're laying flat on the ground. You've got alternating crunches. Nice and smooth, elbow to knee. You do not have to touch the elbow to knee, just reach towards it, two, one, and up. There you go, Mira, that looks good. That's what I was asking at the demo. Are you gonna switch sides? Or are you doing the same side every time? Just switched. <laughs> 10 seconds, come on. Two, one, three. Go ahead and flip over, you got your plank. Doesn't matter which direction, you can literally just roll over or you can completely flip sides either way. Not yet. Two, <laughs> one, up, plank. It's only 20 seconds, so take it whatever um, the hardest plank is that you can handle, because it's only 20 seconds. Normally we try to do these for 40 to um, 45 to a minute, so good, beautiful form there, Mira. Solid. Two, one, and down. You've got sea turtles so on your stomach. So in that Superman position, pulling down that body. Three, two, one. I'm gonna stand and do it along with her. She's doing a great job, but just so you can kind of see the movement. Out with the legs and down. You wanna pitch those shoulder blades down behind you. Just like if you were doing a pull down with a, a, a lat pull down bar. Good, you should feel this in your back. All down that posterior side of your body. Two, one, breathe. Flip over, you've got straight leg sit-ups again. Take that time to breathe. Two, one, straight leg sit-ups, come on. Remember, if this is hurting your lower back at all, you can either prop a towel under your lower back or put your feet flat on the ground, bend your knees. Okay, that'll protect that lower back. 10 seconds. My sister's being such a good sport today. Two, one, breathe. Crunches, alternating crunches. How you feeling? Pretty good. Two, one, let's go. You had some personal training today, girl. Yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds, come on, you've got this. We're only doing three rounds, you're already halfway through round two, come on. Two, one, three. All right, flip over, you've got planks. Remember, ideally on those elbows and toes, but if you need that option up on the hands or on the knees or both, let's go up. You can do that as long as you're squeezing. You should feel a little bit of a shake in that core. If you're feeling that, you're probably in the right position. 
Shouldn't be completely jostling, but you should feel those muscles really having to work. Two, one, down, supermans. Or, uh, what are they called? Sea turtles. <laughs> sea turtles. Last one in round two, then we got one more round, and then we stretch, and we're done. Two, one, let's go. This hurts my lower back. Then just don't go up so high. If it does hurt your lower back, don't go as much on that uh, movement. You can also just turn it into a Superman if that if it's aggravating you at all. Two, one, flip over, last round, straight leg sit ups. Okay. That's why I'm here to remind you. <laughs> all the blood goes to your muscles, not your brain, when you're working out. Two, one, let's go. Remember, do not use momentum. You're doing a great job of reaching towards the ceiling the whole time, controlling it down. Use your abs, not your arms, to bring you up. And you can use a weight, like I said. You just have to keep it pointed towards the ceiling the whole time. Squeeze that lower body. It'll help you control. Try to keep those heels grounded. Breathe. You've got alternating crunches. Glad you got it in, Sue. Breathe. You got planks. Thanks for joining me, girl. Two, one, up. 20 seconds. You got this. 10 to go. It's only a 20 second plank. Breathe on the ground, last one, sea turtles, then we stretch. Two, one, up. Remember, if it hurts your lower back, just take it low. Don't have to come high, you can just do a regular Superman. You can even alternate, okay? That would make take a little bit of pressure off that back. Two, one and breathe. I want you to stay right where you are. All right, and I want you to come up on your elbows and pull yourself forward. So from your elbows, literally try to pull your body forward. Yes, you will leave your hips on the ground. And you should feel that stretch through your abs. So come up on your elbows. Um, your, leave your hips on the ground, come up on your elbows. Yep, oh. and then pull, no, on okay. your elbows. Pull yourself forward, don't move but just actively pull through those abs. There you go, you see that? You should feel that stretch to the abs without compromising that lower back at all. Mir's pretty good at following directions, but she doesn't have a screen in front of her to, or me, showing her what she's doing. She's doing pretty good. All right, now what I want you to do, release, flip over, lay on your back, and I just want you to stretch fingertips to toes as tall as you can get your body, as long as you can get your body stretched out. Everything. I'm like the worst person for this. <laughs> yeah, Mira's getting as tall as she can. All four, ten? Yeah. Four, ten of her? I don't believe you. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, flip back over. And I want you to sit on your knees in that child's pose position. So sit back through your hips. Press your palms away from you into the ground and dig in. Now, if you spread your legs a little bit too, you might feel that more in those hips. So you should feel that in the shoulders, in the back, in the hips. And then when you're ready, we'll stand up and finish stretching and mirror can be done dem demonstrating everything for y'all. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, pop on up. You should be holding stretches anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds more if you need it, and that's totally fine if you need to hang on to it a little bit. I'm going to turn my music off because I don't need it anymore now that we're stretching. Oh, I've got to unhook myself. All right, we're going to just do some standing stretches to finish. Get you on your way. I thought this workout was going to be short, but it's really not. <laughs> All right, grab one foot behind. Keep that knee pointing straight down. If you need to hold on to something, please do. I hope you guys had an awesome workout, whether you did it with me live. Sue, you did awesome. First time you ever did burpees um, or 
If you are doing it later, I will post this to YouTube as quickly as I can. Um, I do ask that you watch it there if you're watching it not live. Um, of course, I would love for you to do it live with me, especially next week if you're available. Tuesdays I do Zumba, not here. Um, I have another platform um, that worked great this week, fantastic. And then I do it live on Facebook for the HIIT workout. Um, cross your foot on top. You should be stretching that backside if you need to hold on to something for balance, please do. Um, so I'd love for you all to join me live if you can. I know some people are back at work, so it's hard to do nine in the morning. Um, it's definitely more fun for me working out with you guys than by myself. Nice to have my sister here to join me too. My husband will not work out with me though. He was like, no. All right, let's do hamstrings. Drive your heel to the ground. Pull back through the hips. Heart above the hips. Probably okay for now because we've been on the on the ground already. Flex the toe first. Normally, I, that's just a good rule of thumb, especially if you've just finished some high intensity. Point that toe down. Just sink a little bit lower into it. Totally worth it today, right? Mm -hmm. Totally worth it. I got tennis after this. You have tennis after this? Oh, you're gonna be tired, girl. When's tennis? Went down till the afternoon. You get some rest time. We are almost done, you guys. Uh, very important to stretch. Do not forget this. And I know I am sometimes guilty of this. Stretch tall while you're holding that hands behind the head. So you're doing your chest and your core. I'm guilty of it sometimes after I finish a run or something just because I kind of come in, make my shake, and forget to stretch. Or I'm in such a rush to shower. Uh, but don't forget to stretch, especially while your muscles are still so warm. You want to squeeze all the tension that you just put into them out. Aids in recovery. Don't forget to, you also need recovery days. That doesn't mean sitting on the couch doing nothing. That means just taking a stroll. Um, maybe some yoga, which is not my thing. I've been trying to get a little more into it, but um, it's a great way to stretch your body. It's a great way to have some low impact. Not necessarily easy. Low impact doesn't mean easy. Um, might mean a lower heart rate, but that's okay. You're still being active. And there are great workouts like that. I've been doing, I've been trying to do bar once a week with my friend Dana. Um, great class, keeping me from pounding too hard on my joints, but still getting me some muscle toning and my heart rate up a little bit. She is great if y'all haven't tried her classes. She's going back to teaching in person, but still doing a few online. Grab your arm and pull over gently and switch sides. We have two more stretches. Spread those feet wide. Hands on the inside of those knees and just a gentle twist. This is mostly about the inner thigh, but why not get a little bit in that upper back while we're there? Switch when you're ready. Come on up, we got one more stretch. Roll those shoulders, lace your hands. Round out that back, push away from you. It's hard for me to show you all right now, but we stretched this direction for our abs, so we need to stretch this direction for our back, especially since we did those deadlifts and you did those um, sea turtles that all work that posterior area. All right, release, take one big breath in through that nose, control it out. Awesome, thank you guys so much. I hope you had a great workout today um definitely is fun for me hey sis um let me know if you need anything i'll post this later on youtube i want to thank my sister for joining me as she tries to avoid the camera <laughs> um keep moving stay strong and i'll see y'all next week bye guys